I think we're good. Hello, YouTubes. I am Grimwit. This is Conarium. You know. I should probably stream more than I say I do. By which I mean actually... Actually do stream when I say I'm going to. It's been a couple of days since the last session. But, uh... I think we're ready for some, uh, some Canarium. Let's jump into it. Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, that's a good sign. When we laughed le last left off, um, when we laughed last off, we, uh, we had an axe. I'm gonna take a closer, closer, yeah, close, closer look. Man, this, this night has started well already. I want to take a closer look. Primal myths. The four-eyed beast. It's got like it's got like four eyes and two two thumbs, six fingers, and he he killed the father of an eagle Mantoyo. And, uh, it's good it's a good statue. Right there. You can see him. With your seeing eyes. Anyway. <laughs> I probably should have started this after the load. Hey, there we go. Okay. I want to take a look at this axe real quick. Standard expedition camping axe looks sturdy. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Um. Oh, nope. Just went in there. So I got that rolling. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been a couple of days. Although the elevator's this way. I want to go downstairs again. Can I can I chop this? Can I can I get into there and chop this? No, I can't. I think I was here last time before it's stuck. stuck. And uh, mm. all right. I could skip this, but like part of the immersion is is watching the elevator go down while you're inside it, right? It's it's important. It means something. Ooh, my tea is too hot to drink. I'm not gonna get up and get ice. It's all right. Probably in an hour's time, I'll get into it. Should be nice and steeped by then. I like my tea. I like it strong. But I also like it. Like, I don't know. Just right, I guess. Doesn't everybody? Tonight's tea is orange rind tea. Okay. So. I have an axe. I'm going to head down to uh, this area again and take a closer look to see if there's something I can do with that axe. Normally, the keys are in the same room as where the lock is. Or should I go upstairs and see if I can't break something in the tower now that I have the axe? I'll try that first. I think the loading screen was, uh, I don't know, a bit of a, um, a 
bit of a missed opportunity. I don't remember this. Uh, it's, it's not a pipe. It's like a, a metallic object. It's, it's like a giant wine cork remover. Judging by the shape, it could be a key or a handle or lever of some sort. Well, I'm glad I came back up here. is cold around these parts. Oh, that's right. I can't get past the uh, win win window. Kind of, that, oh, no. That's, that's the light. Okay. So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. Lasers. Okay. Okay. So... Or was there something I could attach a handle to? I don't know. Act, you know, I'm here. Let's take another look at this. Uh, green, but not a particular shape. More like um, tarnish. Which is great, because the rest of it isn't tarnished. Imagine how iced up this must have been when we found it originally. We used, I don't know, glow torches and chisels to get to it. So that metal handle looked relatively new in shape. I'm going to assume it's in the, uh... Wait, this can go further up? Fuck, I... I guess we'll wait. This does not actually sound like a creaky elevator. Yeah, it's creaking. But have you been in a broken elevator? In one of the buildings, not one of them that I've cleaned, but uh, in one of the buildings attached to one that I was responsible for when cleaning, we had this elevator. And between the third, the second and third floor, it would scrape. It would scrape along the side of the building or of the shaft. It was the most unnerving bullshit. Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Not 100% sure why we invested in, uh... I don't know, cryogenics for him? seen that. Just double checking around. Going through it a lot faster this time. We don't need to hang around and, and fret over little minor details like a first go. So I have an axe and I have a handle. Axe and handle. It's stuck. The idea of cryogenics is kind of silly to me. I know people still think of it like, hey, there's that one frog that could freeze solid ice. So that, that means it's something we can do, right? We can freeze ourselves to solid ice. Why am I going back upstairs? Oh, no, this is the wrong elevator. I wanted to see if I could go above the tower. And then after that, we'll go below the uh, facilities. See, that frog has kind of got a unique cellular uh, structure. Most of the time, when ice forms, say, like in uh, in your cells, or any cells, let's take, let's take a tomato, let's take a tomato, uh, and the, it, it freezes, and the cell inside, you know, say the cellular wall of the tomato, 
each cell has some kind of liquid inside it, and that freezes, and that crystallizes, and when that crystallizes, the, uh, the water punctures the outside of the cell. Now, well, it was worth a try. And it destroys the skin cell when that happens, which is exactly what happens to you when you freeze yourself. So, for something to survive, you either have to have, at a cellular level, a way to resist ice uh, puncturing the cell, or, you, you know, you don't, you don't do that. One of those two things. So, for cryogenics to work, even flash freezing causes enough damage to destroy you can't flash freeze without having some kind of cellular damage so to survive cryogenics you would have to alter <laughs> you would have to alter your genetics all right let's do that let's get the crispr gene involved right and alter genetics and everything all of all of genetics all of it well, that leads to to a little problem that, that most people worry about. Something called cancer. And, uh, it, you know, we, we don't really have a handle enough on, on it to, to keep cancer from happening. So, so that's a thing that, you know, you may want to not do. I think I've tried, uh, I think I've tried spiking at this and... I got this handy handle. I got this, uh, you know, this axley axe. Why is it upside down? Like, that's its feet, right? And that's its head. Right? Right? Wait, that doesn't even look like its feet or its head. already seen that we can't really do anything with this. Just walk into it. Shake its hand. Hey, how's, how's everybody doing? Nope, all I'm doing is rubbing up against it. Hey! Okay, it's shining on this now. So now we can take a look at this. Uh, that is definitely a wall. How about we turn it so that it hits those vines? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I didn't like this. Uh, this okay, I, I am getting some some alien vibes here. Like some uh, hmm, fa some face hugger, hugger vibes. How do these stay lit for millennia? More than a millennia. Five ever. Um, I mean, at least it's warm. Oh! Okay, I've gone downstairs. Wait, we've been here, because we set up lights, so whoever, whoever was here last set, 
set the statues on fire. Oh, that's, um... That would be that statue with the four eyes. One on its hand. Oh, okay. This is happening now. Sure. What was that I've just seen? Well, I'll tell you what it wasn't ahead. Where's this water coming from? Oh, it's coming from a pipe. Let's get up there and say hello to this guy. Hi. High five! Yeah. Hey, Loki. L Loki, things are spooky around here. We, we got this alien statue vaguely humanoid-esque which makes me worry are humans just echo of this particular species or is this a human creation to sort of relate to whatever this thing is okay let's see what we got here as far as choices we got the crystal caves we got Three-nosed cow. We got another three-nosed cow. Let's not worry too much about the three-nosed cow. Not sure why this ice isn't uh, isn't freezing. Like the mist should be freezing. Okay, looks like our only option is is the the uh, crystal caves. So let's go exploring. Let's both. Water leaking. So, water is melting somehow and pouring into the under caves. Let's check out here. It's someone who was human, then ascended to the grow a crow head. God stand over people. Hi there. Grotesque face. Sure, sure, let's push this. Or pull it. Boy. Huh. Um, ancient typewriter keys, looks like. Let's take them. Five pieces of stone with different glyphs on them. This feels... I mean, maybe it's because I just finished playing Genshin Impact, but this feels less like a horror exploration and more like adventure. Yo. Bones dim, bones dim, circle bones. The eye bones connected to the hand bone. The hand bones connected to the ankle bone. The ankle bones connected to the foot bone. And here's an affront to God. Oh. Okay. Hey, another axe. Sure, I'll take a second one. Oh. Huh. What? Why does this hurt to look at? Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that the overgrown flower we came across at the various points of the cavern uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. <laughs> A 
what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? I don't know. Is that really what we're getting from this? It's the Elder Trump. I thought you heard that uh, that's not Trump, that's a that's a clone. Oh, that was that was a new thing, yeah? Yeah. Let's try to steer clear of that. That dates this episode of uh, well other than the actual YouTube date. What's that over there? Let's see if we can't get more erroneous memories. I cannot get over there, cause uh, I mean <laughs> I can't, that would get my feet wet. I can't have that. So, it's weird to say. Um, there's a, a book, and I haven't read it all, but it, towards the beginning of the book of Journey to the West, there's this point where the Monkey King goes up against Buddha. Uh, all right. As you plan, my team will continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. I, I guess we're going to go through the gateway eventually. So what I was saying is Sangoku uh, it is like given a challenge to uh, to take down one of the five pillars in heaven. So he goes up in heaven, and there are these five huge pillars, and he's uh, he's just attacking the shit out of the out of these pillars, and he can't do anything. And eventually, I think he eventually realizes that. I can't remember how it plays out. He realizes that the pillars are actually the fingers of Buddha, and he's standing in Buddha's hand all that time. So, what I'm saying is this looks vaguely hand-like. Although, honestly, early, early all religion has a semi-Cthulhu-esque kind of feel to it. Hey... Uh, can I, what is it, Crete and Cedar Crouch? Oh, there it is. Okay. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Oh my god. Is this a Stargate? This is a Stargate! <laughs> and we have the keys to the Stargate. And we can go to, I don't know, Arrakis or wherever they went to on Stargate? Sure, let's check this thing out. Why, why would I do this? Uh-oh. that looks like a handle. Another one. What? Oh! Um... Okay. I, I was about to say, he's alive! It's Christmas Miracle! <laughs> Let me take a look at this handle again. Curious metallic object found in a stone coffin. Continue the tour. Protect yourself with Elder Sign. Okay. Uh, let's 
let's not step on that just yet. Closer look at this elder sign. Now an original and mint. Kuki. Oh, those are bugs. Okay. Um... No. I figured that's where that went. So let me take... Hmm? Hmm? You saw that too, right? Shh. You smell that? Buggies! Was, was it a bug? So I need to go back here and take a look at, like, this thing. So we're going to start at the top and go clockwise and see what these symbols are. So let's see here. Um, we're going to call this LJ at the top. We're going to call this the Clown in the next one. Eye of Ra in the next one. Uh, Sun on the next one. And finish it off with the Hook. So LJ Clown. Ra Sun Hook. LJ Clown. Ra Sun Hook. Let's go. So, my friend LJ, who was a clown, he worshipped Ra, the sun god, with a hook. And this is how you make memory palaces. No, seriously. So, my friend LJ, he was a clown. He worshipped Ra, the sun, the sun god, with a hook. A lot of interesting uh, mental experiments with uh, memory palaces and so forth. If you don't maintain them, they eventually decay. But uh, you pretty much do what I just did, but you just assign things like that to rooms in a building. Just imagine a clown named LJ. Pretty useful. Oh, this looks like this is gonna get creepy. Uh, oh! Hey, it's -a me! LJ! The strong chin. It's a stronger nose. My god, look at that nose. I'm handsome. Why can't I see my feet? But I mean, I can from here. Maybe I shouldn't worry about that shining light where my pineal gland should be. Good looking, though. I'm good looking.
Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, thank God. Yes, I can hear you. Finally. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Mm. Time is running out. Uh huh. So I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Uh... Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen. I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering. But you must be slowly. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. Do you hear me? Come on, please. Where are you? Damn it! The connection is lost. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? Oh, we have something new in our journal. Unfortunately, one of our researchers... No, no, no. Wrong one. Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this... Oh, shoot. Really? Oh, they're just... It's just a collection of... Alright, interesting. In case you don't want to read, you can have somebody read for you. At half... No, twice the time. Alright, what do we got? What do we got here? We got an elder thing and its wing... Okay. Oh boy! I am glad they typed that up. I cannot read that handwriting. Is that in French? What is that? No, is, I've never liked cursive. I have never liked cursive. Even when I was a kid. Not because I couldn't do it, but because I couldn't read it. Not even my own handwriting. <clears throat> Alright. It is possible to... It is possible to assume that... Due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly where the, whether this is the case. I mean, I'm looking at the human... Uh, the theory that somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along the cryptic stone wall that welcomes you entering the via, via the round gate Yes, the theory. As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomenon do 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 happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating the true motives of the carvers of these inconceivable old, inconceivably old caverns. Adverbs, that's how you know it's Lovecraftian. All I'm sure of is this is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil f here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal man has hitherto perceived. Another one of these. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate at last night's meeting, and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather-bound book that was too frightening, hmm? at least for the ones who could understand the underlying links. There's so much grammatically wrong with the last two sentences. They're not even sentences. <laughs> I, mm, okay. Did you understand what was just said in this, this whole pag paragraph? The first sentence, perfect. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point or in time or were they carved underwater? Perfect. Nothing's wrong here. Everything's fine. This was the main topic. So it the previous sentence, even though it made sense, should have been in quotations, so that you could refer to it. This was the main topic of debate at last night's meeting. There's actually nothing wrong with this sentence. And, never start a sentence with and. 
and should never be capitalized, unless you're talking about a man named and. And what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather... Pause. Next clause. Cited from a leather-bound book that was too frightening, which is a middle clause. It's, it's defining the previous clause, the book. Comma. At least the ones who could understand the underlying links. What? So, this, if you remove the middle clause, that shouldn't be a semicolon. That's not how semicolons work. You have the beginning of a sentence. I, I know, I know. This, this is, this, it just irks me, all right? This writing drives me crazy. So, the sentence is, and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, what do you mean? Oh, I have to go back to the previous sentence because that period shouldn't be there. So this should actually read, This was the main debate of last night's meeting and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions. At least the ones who could understand what the underlying links. What is happening? The elders, they didn't know how to grammar yet. What is happening with this paragraph? The megalithic statues, ornate standing stones at the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. W what? Nobody talks like this. We cannot imagine what it looks like in its former days for now that it lies in ruins bare and without any sign of underwater fauna or flora. This is almost right. Ah, this is my mom's fault. This is my mom's fault and my grandma's fault because like them, I cannot turn this off now. But this, that first paragraph breaks me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Oh good, another note. <laughs> I am having fun, though, complaining about it, so just let me have it, all right? Let me have this. We finished tweaking the submarines one last time, and again, they are ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time, we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for the, the later expeditions. Nothing's wrong here. In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party led by James Barlow, Dr. James Barlow, will, will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance to the legendary netherworld. St almost, but again, never start a sentence with but. <laughs> but comes after a comma, not a period. But again, actually, I take that back. I take that back. I've been complaining about but. But, did you hear the comma on there? Enough people understand that but indicates the previous sentence is being used as an entire clause that I think this particular grammatical rule is being altered. English is a living language after all. It's just, it's like ain't. Ain't didn't used to be a word, but it is. Ain't a word. It's in the dictionary. So, uh, I'll, I'll give starting a sentence with but a pass. But only if it alters the previous sentence. That was loud. Nope, that doesn't mean anything. I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. No period right there. After all, I experience... After all, I've experienced... Read and studied here, read and studied here, after all those sleepless nights discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies beyond and how to reach a certain state to see with more without eyes? Even I cannot help but think that this journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we... Mm, we have to go through it in the search for answers, Dr. Morgan C. Blank. Okay, let's talk about semicolons. Semicolons are a period above a comma. Right? 
That's what you see when you see a semicolon. That's because a semicolon is both a period and a comma. A semicolon ends an incomplete sentence with an addendum of a separate idea. I know I've gone over this before. I know I've said this all before. Okay, okay. If you don't know how to use a semicolon, you don't have to use a semicolon. You don't have to use it at all. But if you use a semicolon, know what it is. It's not a comma. It's not a period. It's both. It ends a sentence with an addendum clause that... Oh. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> this is going to happen. Colin is like an explanation, like it's stuck open the door. Yeah. It's stuck open, or it struck open the door. Mm, no. It's more like... You, 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 you pretty much, you pretty much got it, but it's like saying, uh, it's brown, the tent, which is one use for a semicolon, but it's like saying, okay, it's brown, what is it? The pronoun it refers to the tent. I forgot to mention the tent. It's brown, the tent. Semicolon here is like the explanation. It's more like a comma. I, the, whoever wrote all this didn't. Either the problem with saying that the character writes like this naturally is that everybody writes like this, which means that it isn't the character that's writing like this. It's the author. What? 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 Oh, hey. Uh, Oh, we have our choice. There's one missing, though. I assume there were three. But if he wants me to carry on, then I'm, I'm fine with that. I just want to take a quick look around, see if I'm missing anything. Any more notes to make me angry? I can't shut it off. I always have to proofread. I do this to books I read, too, by the way. And you know that whole thing of, well, you know, you can shut off your brain and just enjoy the ride, right? No. No. If, if the grammar and spelling are correct and I take no notice of it, then I can shut off my brain. My problem is that I can't shut off my brain when I have to decipher the way that they have butchered the English language. If they had followed the rules, I would be able to just enjoy the ride. However, in proper stat, you know, Lovecraft would do shit like this too, but he would do it in different ways. He has a very unique style of writing that is distinctly his. For example, he loves hyphenating nouns. He, he loves hi the hyphen, actually. Hyphens are like his favorite punctuation. He does know how to use a semicolon. One for the past, one for now, and one for the betrayer. I, I, uh, I, I don't understand the reference. I hope it's a reference. Oh, shoot. I missed my entry. Well, uh, Loki, since you're here, do you want the submarine on the left or the submarine on the right? I don't know which one is the betrayer's submarine, so you'll have to decipher for me. Well, while you're doing to quickly refill actually my tea. Oh, that's full. That's a full tea box. Oh, it smells so good. Is it too hot? It's been sitting for, I don't know, 40 minutes. No, it's perfect. Uh, I want the one above the other. Uh, okay. Well, well, that one's gone. So I guess we'll just go with this one. Would you like to get in the submarine? 
Yes, that's why I clicked on it. Uh, I just got an achievement. Deep dive. Steer left, steer right, ascend, descend. Neat. Oh. Um. Hey, I... Oh, no, I still don't have a body. Thank God, no body. And nobody cares. Temperature is hovering at about 25 to... Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, what? What... What is up with... Why would you have three markers between 20 and 30... So, like, roughly 24 degrees. Let's see here. It's really hard to see. That says code, please. I'm assuming that's, like, altitude or something. That's our speed. That's easy enough. All right, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. So this doesn't aim up and down, this is this moves like an actual vehicle. So if I turn around, I should be able to see the dock. No, no, yes! Okay, there are lights. There are lights. I just can't look up and down. Uh, which one's the doom -o meter Uh, oh hey. Highly maneuverable compact exploration submarine. Follow the lights. Uh, let's see, here's a diagram for all kinds of things. Hey, it's actually got a readout of what all this means. The compressor, uh, compressor pressure gauge, uh, the engine pressure gauge, then followed by the salt water depth to keel gauge. Not, not sure what that means. The speed gauge, that I figured out. Uh, the engine telegraph gauge, don't know what that means. Leakage warning lamp. So we got to keep an eye out on six. Uh, overheat warming, warning lamp, and seven. Engine power warning lamp. And then finally, the engine temperature gauge. Okay, that's what that means. All right. So that's the temperature for the engine. Uh, we need to keep an eye out for these three lamps. And, uh, okay. Um, need to spin this around. i got to admit, this is a little fun. Uh, I always dig... Submarines. There's a light there, so let's see. Let's dive a little bit, and then uh, let's go to half. Uh, oh, okay, that's that's definitely a lamp. Can I dive further down? I don't actually want to destroy my uh, my ship. Alas, none of the uh, none of the readouts are for doom. I, I assume that that will be a uh, something that we will have to figure out intuitively. How doomed we are. Let's not crash into walls. Technically, we're very deep underwater, or at least under the sea level. What's that? Oh, let's, let's raise it a little bit. This is a little bit tight, but I think we can do something about it. I'm getting the temple vibes here, that, but I am not German. Hey, it's, uh, it says Thogua. Somebody in comments can, uh, can correct me. Sathagua, right? Right? Frog God? Okay, I can move a little bit faster. Follow the lights. Oh, uh, 
fuck, where, wait, wait, where are the lights? Um, full stop. Is that a, one of the lights, or did I miss it? Okay, there's one of the lights. So now the question is... Uh, full stop. I guess it's kind of leading to this depth right here. That's... that's a squeeze. What is frog? Baby, don't frog me. Don't frog me. No more. Do, 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 do. submarine. I'm probably putting too much thought into it thinking that, but I don't want the tail end of my submarine scraping across that thing. That outcropping. Hey, Doom Lad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the writing isn't bad, but their grammar is pretty terrible. Whoa, hey, look. A uh, big old thing to scrape into my hole. Please don't. I would not appreciate it. of, well, if you look to your left, then we are now pursing the third eye.
Like, I have no idea what's gonna happen if I bump into a wall. I probably should, just to see what happens. Oh, whoa, uh... Full stop. W what was that? None of the warning lights are blinking. What, what, what? What was... I missed it. You know what? We have an autosave. Full power. I bet this is where the speedrunning strats come, right? I just realized I'm controlling the light. Which is pretty cool. Subtle. Look how far they were expellings. Oh, 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 okay, uh... No, no! That... Is... Is it... Oh, okay, yeah, everything's going off now. <laughs> and then we fucked. Loading. Th this is not how I thought this would go. So, with that, um... <laughs> Let's take a short break. All right, uh, that's a good way to stop an episode, I think. We'll put in a cup here for YouTube. I'm going to top off my tea, and yeah, after these messages, we'll be right back.